Students, on this English channel, I quickly wanted to update you about everything you want to know about NEET. Eligibility criteria syllabus, what is domicile, uh, why students dream of getting into a government medical college and what are the exam dates, right? On this channel, my purpose is that I am going to provide everything which is also available on our Hindi English channel, but a lot of students who do not understand Hindi. My hope is that I provide all the content or we provide all the content which is relevant for your preparation. This is a basic info video. So uh, let me start. Let's start with eligibility, right? Age, minimum age, the year in which you are going to write the exam. For example, you are going to write the exam this year, need 2021. In that case, on 31st December 2021, your age should be 17 years. If you are going to write it in 2022, your age on 31st December 2022 has to be 17 years. This is the minimum age requirement. There is no maximum age. There is no maximum age requirement. And there is no attempt limit. This is the first thing. Score in class 12. First of all, you should have passed in all the subjects. If you have failed in any subject, you are not eligible to write NEET. Second thing is, for general and EWS, PCB aggregate, uh, aggregate, physics, chemistry, biology aggregate has to be 50% and PCB aggregate for OBC, SC, ST, it has to be 40%, right? Now, please remember this. In case of AIMS, it used to be different. It used to be 60% in AIMS, but since AIMS admissions are also happening through NEET exam, this criteria for AIMS is also now the same because there is only one criteria, which is the criteria to write NEET exam, and that is this. PCB aggregate. What does aggregate mean? Out of 300 marks of physics, chemistry, biology, you should have 150 marks. It does not mean you should have 50, 50, 50 in all three. It means the total should be 150. Please understand this. Now the other thing, other eligibility criteria. The basic eligibility criteria is that you should have studied physics, chemistry, biology in class 12 because this is what is going to be required when you're going to become a doctor, right? A lot of students these days are exploring the writing need because the other professions in physics, chemistry, maths or arts or commerce, they did not like it. They want to become a doctor. In that case, what you need to do is you have to become a private candidate. A lot of students write their exam from NIOS. National uh, 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 NIOS, I don't, open school is the last thing, NIOS, right? They become private candidates, write the exam, and then they are also eligible to write NEET. It is not as if private candidates are not eligible to write NEET. There was a requirement which had come out from NTA in 2018 December that they cannot write, but that was struck down by Supreme Court. So they can write NEET exam. They had put in an age limit and then put in this thing that private candidates not uh, cannot write, but Supreme Court has a stay over it. So both private candidates can write and there is no age limit for need. So this is all about eligibility, eligibility criteria, right? And you can write it from any board. It doesn't matter. Till the time you have physics, chemistry, biology in class 12, as a normal candidate or a private candidate, you are eligible to write need. You're also eligible to write need irrespective of whether you are doing BSc or nursing or any other course. If you had physics, chemistry, biology in class 12, you can write me, right? Syllabus, physics, chemistry, biology, physics has uh, 28 chapters, chemistry has 30 chapters, biology has 38 chapters. Which are these chapters? All chapters of class 11th and 12th as per NCRT book, as per NCRT book, except these three portions. Chapter 1, Physics Class 11, Physical World is not in need syllabus. Chapter 2, Chapter number 15, uh, Class 12th, Communication System, this is not in need syllabus. And this chapter in Biology, Class 11, Structural Organization in Animals. In Chapter 7, Earthworm and Frog is not in need syllabus, only cockroaches in need syllabus. So this is all about syllabus. What is the exam pattern and exam dates? 180 questions, Physics 45, Chemistry 45, Bio 90. And these have to be attempted in 180 minutes. Okay. Exam is typically conducted once a year on the first Sunday of May. Typically conducted. But in 2020, because of COVID, it could be conducted only on 13 September 2021. It is expected in last week of June or first week of July. Dates have not been announced as of now. But what is also being considered is whether the exam can be conducted online and whether it can be done twice. Deliberations are going on right now on this channel. Whenever this is confirmed, we will let you know. So this is all about syllabus, exam dates, and exam pattern, etc. Right? 
Now the third thing I want to cover which a lot of people don't understand what is this domicile all India quota and I also want to write down what is the difference between qualification and cutoff. We will cover these two points as well. So let me explain to you. Except AIMS, BHU and JIPMER, 85% of seats in any government medical college are reserved for the domicile of that state. Domicile definition varies from state to state. I would not be able to tell you exactly what it is, but you can find that out. But 85% of the seats in a government medical college are reserved for residents or rather domiciles of that state and 15% are available to anyone in the country. So let me give you an example what this means. Let's say government medical college in Kodi Kod. 250 seats, 15% means 38 seats. Anyone can take admission in government, uh, government medical college Kodi Kod. There is a student from our, uh, uh, our platform. Uh, he is from Mumbai and he took admission in government medical college Kodi Kod. Uh, he can only do it through All India Quota. Now state domicile would have 212 seats remaining, 250 minus 38. These would get distributed general OBC, SC, ST, EWS. This is 27%. This is uh, this is 15%. This is 7.5%. This comes out to be around 49%. All these things are there and uh, EWS is 10%. And some of the EWS I think uh, comes out of this category, right? Or they have increased the seats, whatever it is. But this is basically the, uh, the basis. Why this is the case? Medical is a very localized pro, uh, pro, uh, profession, which means language. Let's say if someone is not from Kerala, uh, he is practicing in Kodi Code. A patient comes, poor patient, uh, he or she can speak only in Malayalam. So the uh, someone who doesn't understand Malayalam, doesn't understand their eating habit, doesn't understand what kind of diseases uh, uh, within which the person grew up, then there is, an, uh, uh, there is an obvious challenge, right? So that is why this criteria exists that 15% uh, All India Quota and 85% Domicile. These AIMS, 19 colleges, there is no Domicile criteria. All of this is available to all the students in the country based on their need score. Similarly for BHU, this is also available to everyone, right? And in case of uh, JIPMER, slightly more allocation than 15% is available to students from all over the country. It is not as if 85% is available to students from Puducherry where there are two campuses, Kadaikal and Puducherry where uh, JIPMER is there. There this 15% and 85% thing does not apply, right? So a lot of information. You can watch this video again and hopefully you would be able to understand all of it. I want to cover two more things which creates a lot of confusion. What is qualification? Qualification is typically 50 percentile. Now what does percentile mean? Top 50 percent students, top 50 percent students means they are above 50 percentile. Top 50 percent student which means out of 16 lakh students, 8 lakh students, 16 lakh students appeared for the exam, 8 lakh, uh, lakh students get to attend counseling after NEET exam. It is not a guarantee to get a government medical college. They get to attend counseling. Why this is the case? Because not only admissions happen in government medical college for MBBS seat to need, admissions also happen to uh, private medical colleges for MBBS. Admissions also happen for dental colleges, both government and private through need. And there the cutoff might be much lower than government medical college. In fact, a lot of Ayush courses are uh, increasingly now taking only NEET score as the basis to take admission. And this year, this was 147, right? For general category. For I think SCST, it was around 20, 30 marks lower than this, right? When we say cutoff, this is typically for government medical colleges. For every medical college, it is going to be different. <clears throat> but there is one number, you must have uh, heard about this number, 614. What was this 614 number? 614 was the marks at which a general category student was expected to get a government medical college through All India Quota. There are, I'm sorry, there is a lot of information here. Please try and process this. it again. Watch it again. There are around 40,000 government medical college seats in the country. I told you 15% is All India Quota. So 15% of this which is 6,000 seats 
are available through all india counseling these 6000 seats for general category the cutoff was 614 so if you had below 614 you would not get in general category selection in a government medical college through all india counseling you would have to apply through state counseling to get a selection so hopefully students a lot of information i have given this is largely the information that you need, need to know about neat you don't have to worry about anything else we generally put a lot of information on this channel which is specific to neat this is specific to students who cannot understand hindi so you would not find any communication on this channel which is in hindi so you can rely on what is being told here why students dream of government medical college this is one question which i have not answered let me quickly answer it in a government medical college in a government medical college five year expense right is between 1 lakh to 5 lakh rupees approximately right in some cases it might be higher some cases it might be low for a private medical college right a good private medical college this can be anywhere between 50 lakh to 1.3 crores and a lot of students can't afford this fee that is why they dream of getting into a government medical college if you want to become a doctor your parents do not have this kind of money then this is the only option available to you and that is why when we also count our students how many students did well from our platform we would always count this number government medical college mbbs seat we would also not count dental because dental generally the cutoffs are much lower so students this is all hopefully this is beneficial to you if you don't understand something if you have any additional question on which you would want me to make a separate video there is a comment section of this video you can uh, go there write that question i will get to read it i'll try and answer it if it requires a separate video i will do it but subscribe to uh, to this channel and we will keep you updated don't worry about it just focus on your preparation in coming videos i am going to talk about what are the best ways to prepare to organize yourself so that you can get this coveted mbbs seat in a government medical college and fulfill your dream of becoming a doctor all right students